Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Something got triggered with everyone and they thought it was, this is like end of the world apocalyptic uh, situation going on here. You know, is it just me? Because I don't feel like that. So it depends. I mm -hmm. think one of the big things, so like Sandy Hook obviously is the most recent. Mm -hmm. Sandy Hook's really the only large scale scare we've had when technology was also widely available and used, right? Mm -hmm. So other ones, but that's that's really kind of the most one, the one that we can compare everything to the most. And with Sandy Hook, it was very different because there was a very clear target on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. I mean, I mean, it was directed. They were coming out and saying they were going to take these things and they're going to ban those them. specific things. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. So those specific things people went for. Now, there's no specific thing that anyone's afraid of losing, with the exception of opportunity, time, and mobility, right? So if you look around, there's any number of counties and cities right now, like which is insane. And again, I rant in this in my video that'll be up tonight. They're literally telling people they can't leave their house. Mm -hmm. There's cities yeah, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. There's mm -hmm. cities and towns that are telling people they can't buy firearms, which by the way is completely legal mm -hmm. on federal law. Mm -hmm. Will be cited in the video. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> do yeah. not follow that. I yeah. urge all FFLs do not follow that either. Mm -hmm. um, but and then uh, another city is saying gatherings of 10 or more are prohibited and they freaking sent police to stand at gun shops to make sure there wasn't more than 10 people in there i mean like this is, wow. so that perception for people in terms of that mm -hmm. being and, and that is only going to possibly increase in the near term right mm -hmm. so that that's I think that's why people are freaking out because they don't know what tomorrow will bring. Yeah, literally, I, it's changing so fast. Yeah, I think this maybe is is like in terms of the re of uh, the response by media and all that kind of stuff. It looks like an end of world situation to everyone. You have co like countries all over the world shutting down. You have states shutting down, cities shutting down, like you're saying, stock market you know dropping, and so everyone's like, wait a second. This is this is really it when this is something right. that we've won had viruses and things like that come into play. This one's going to be in play forever. You know, yep. um, and, and I, would also, I would also add a caveat to that. Mm -hmm. Just I think people's mindsets need to change. Like you said, their cities are shutting down. Mm -hmm. States are shutting down. Mm -hmm. People are allowing that to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not saying go out and spread coronavirus. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, at least in America, that's not how it works, mm -hmm. unless we let it work like that. Mm -hmm. so just side note. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's it's a new thing that's dangerous if we get used to it to to people Correct. doing that. SoCal Gunner gave us a couple of bucks here. He says Philly is making certain crimes legal. I right. don't know if that's exactly what's happening in Philly. Uh, my understanding of it is that for minor crimes, they're just gonna like uh, make sure they know exactly who you are, and kind of let you go. You. Yeah, so I know that yeah. news kind of went out there, and then I think like I think it was a um, Meek Mills or something like that uh, retweeted it or whatever, reshared it, and then there's a lot of people that think, oh, now this is the freaking purge, and we could do whatever we want in Philly. Right. Yeah. And Killer, Killer Mike did as well. Yeah. And so I was, but the, so just on that, mm -hmm. like, I used years ago in my misguided youth, I worked in law enforcement, and like. Just from a policy perspective, why would you put that out? Like, if that was your department yeah. policy, mm -hmm. that's cool. I have no Got it. Clue. Tell your officers, mm -hmm. why would you put that out publicly? It makes no sense. That and like is... you said, it's it's going to turn into exact, or has the potential rather to turn into exactly what you just said. Yeah, I saw. Right. And go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say I saw the a, a tweet last night uh, from from KD mm -hmm. at Kevin Dixie, and in fact, I screenshotted it. Mm -hmm. It's a tweet from Stephen Keeley at Fox. 29 mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. Yeah. And it's got the list list of the things that they're not going to make arrest for. Mm -hmm. They're going to, like you said, try to find out who did it, but not, it's a theft from purses, retail from persons, not purses, retail theft, theft from auto, burglary, vandalism, all bench warrants, stolen auto, economic crimes, and yeah. prostitution. Yeah. yeah. I, so, <laughs> why would you tell that? Yeah. I saw, <laughs> so the Breakfast Club, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that have no clue of what the Breakfast Club is. 
Uh, I know Mike knows. I don't know if uh, I do. Roy knows. I do. Oh, yeah. I, I, know. I know. Mike is pretty much a brother. Let's just put it like that. He, he completely understands what I'm talking about. But the Breakfast Club is a hip hop radio station um, that I believe is in New York. I don't know if they they move they move around or I think they're kind of like syndicated or something now. But anyway, yeah. they they made that Mike Keeley guy or whatever his name is. They made him the donkey of the day because they're like, why did this guy do this? You know, why did he put this info? I think uh, Mike is right on this one, Guns and Gear. That w- like strategically, what are you? Yeah. Tr- what are you? S- <laughs> if it's your policy, that's one thing. But don't tell. Yeah. Folks why would the cops put policy. this out there? Yeah. You know, you you do you want to kick something off? What, like, what's up with this? You know, and it's not yeah. it's not free it's not really free reign there. And they should just if if the, if you have people out there doing something, just enact your policy, do it quietly, and move on. But don't right. start this. Yeah. But all it takes is for go ahead, go ahead, Mike, go ahead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say I think it speaks to the the broader point of the discussion here. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we're talking about a macro situation, but mm-hmm. on the micro uh, excuse me, micro, but on the macro situation. Right. There's a realization by a lot of Americans today Mm -hmm. uh, who have never really thought of it before that the government isn't going to save you. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not going to save you from an invisible disease. Mm -hmm. It's not going to save you from the person who's going to come do you harm or your family harm. Right. So that's why there's all these new gun buyers. And there's a large percentage of them were in California. And I'm sure if you just do the math, a lot of those people probably voted to ban high high capacity magazines mm-hmm. and now they're or out there like man yeah, yeah right yeah and now they're out there like man why do i have to wait why can't i get a magazine that holds more than 10 rounds the same people but and you know good on them for at least coming around mm-hmm. to it but mm-hmm. there's a lot of people waking up to that reality today yeah the government ain't coming i think that's a really good point i think that you know so this is the thing i always give people this scenario and i say what would you do in this scenario right if you if you woke up this morning and the the president was on TV announcing that aliens are real, you know, and they're our overlords now, what would you do? I always ask people, what do you what would you do if that's what you know? Are you going to work now? What's your what's your plan after you find out that there is such a thing as aliens? They're more powerful than us. They're in charge, and it's weird. A lot of people would say, oh, I'm I'm still going to work. <laughs> I was gonna go to work like I, like I normally do. They're like, why? Because what are you gonna do? <laughs> you know. So, but this is a situation where we kind of really had that go down, and everyone's like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. Oh this shit. This is real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think the the wake and and I don't know what this says about American society, but I think when things like the NCAA basketball tournament got canceled and the NBA season got suspended mm-hmm. and the Kentucky Derby got postponed to September, when these huge national sporting events started getting axed, I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm an old boy from Arkansas, and I know there are people in mourning right now because SEC baseball season has been canceled. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and the idea that that would happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just blew people's minds. And it is, I think, as you were saying, Hank, one heck of a wake-up call for a whole lot of folks. Yeah. Rick C. is saying that government is the same as the aliens. Yeah, they think they're our overlords. This is, Rick gets <laughs> the point that. of what I'm trying to make. <laughs> you know, the government thinks they're our overlords. We're in this situation now. Um, I just touched my face. So, yeah. uh, well, you know, I'm going to do that a lot. <laughs> I'm going to do that. You know, we're uh, going to touch my face. Yeah. Okay. We're in this situation now where, as Mike was saying, you know, they're trying to tell us where we can go, where we can't go, how many people. Right. Lola was telling me someone told her Best Buy, for example. I don't know if this is true or not. Gainesville does have that policy Mike was talking about. They don't want people of more than 10. Um, but uh, no, actually, I think it's 50. And then some people are making it 10, but like Best Buy, someone told her, you can't have more than 10 people in Best Buy. That doesn't make any kind of sense, you know? And why would you do all these things and put everyone in this mode when, you know, this is not, I don't want to say that we're not there yet, right? Obviously, they're trying to slow everything down. Right. We don't know. Yeah, but we're going to super panic mode. How do you think everyone's going to react? And one of the scare, one of the well, not scary thing, but something I know is going to happen: all these kids that are home from school running around. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have lots of babies mm-hmm. in about in nine, nine months, months from now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, not we, we sh- you know we shouldn't really. 
You know what I mean? I'm not trying to say I don't want the babies, but the mm-hmm. babies having babies because they don't have anything to do, right, is not necessarily a good thing. And this is the mode that we're just putting everyone in. And it's kind of, if you read those uh, apocalyptic novels and things like that or look at the movies Mm -hmm. you always see that when people get to this stage it's kind of like a survival instinct what do you do make more babies because we think there's you know like people are dying off the problem is people are not dying at the rate that the media is trying to make it out to be right now and yeah i mean just for perspective and and i again not an epidemiologist Mm -hmm. um you know look at the swine flu which is relatively recent you know Mm -hmm. by the end of it the CDC says about 18,000 people died. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the pace, if you actually date the virus as to when it came to America, because you can date viruses for those mm-hmm. who don't know, um, we're actually, we have had less deaths. Now, again, the CDC is saying this is more contagious. So right. again, it's not the same, mm-hmm. but, you know, that was, that was a pandemic, killed lots of people around the world, mm-hmm. recent modern times with modern medicine. And, you know, yeah. people, went, people went to Best Buy. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I've, I've read some, some, and I try to, for information like this, I try to make sure it's a reputable source. I've read some, what I consider to be reputable source articles that indicate it's not as lethal as swine flu, but it is a heck of a lot more contagious. So there's a, the potential for more death just because so many more people are probably going to get it. Yeah. That's what I saw. I've yeah. seen the same. Yeah. yeah. I mean, without a doubt, but we have lots of viruses that are already in effect. And this yeah. one being in effect now is never going away. So we're always going to have it. So I'm not saying we shouldn't do something about it. Of course we should. But I think the state of mind that we're putting everyone in, that they get to this point where, you know, as we're saying, there's people who are anti-gun and all that kind of stuff, and they're out there buying up guns and ammo. um, And, you know, we all see that happening, right? We all know those people who were trying to say to us, why are you guys all into the guns? And then now they're like, oh, by the way, do you have any ammo? (laughs) <laughs> that literally happened to me today. <laughs> oh, yeah. or, or hey, hey we're thing. coming to your house if it gets bad. Hey, yeah, and I was like, the door's to your house. Yeah, don't come oh, to my house. Yeah. That's I. Yeah, that's not even funny. Don't even try that. You know. Um, hold on. Uh, so SoCal Gunner gave us uh, some money here. He says, "I live under these Cali draconian laws. All the gun stores around here have empty shelves." And a large amount of new people demanding to get their guns cash and carry. They have no idea that it's not that easy to buy a gun. Of course they don't. Yep. Of course they don't. You know? Because they've been lied to systematically. Right. Yeah. Right. Saying that there's a quote unquote gun show loophole and all this yeah. other nonsense. Right. Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.